Absolutely. This is where, where we focus on it. We often talk about models. They're pretty simple. They predict words. So if I said, um, it's raining cats, and most people would say dogs, dogs with yeah. it. Or in this audience, if I said, I believe the market today will go maybe 50% up, maybe 50% down. The challenge in models today is they don't know your words for your business. Yeah. And so we're really passionate about smaller models that you can train with your enterprise knowledge, and that helps you then so, solve IT problems, so, sales. So, apps. Matt, are you talking about the next leg, the next stage or development of AI, which is, is which is going to be about inference? Mm. It training and then being able to run inference at a vastly smaller scale. So, when we talk about smaller models on this, they're still significant size, but they are 50 to 100 times smaller than most of the models that we interact with as consumers. But being able to train them on your business knowledge, the non-sexy parts of business, yeah. that's where we believe you can drive efficiency because the inference costs are so low at that yeah. point. The digital labor costs are just much lower than the human labor costs in those areas. So that's where we focus. Again, it's, uh, it is in that back office side of business, but it's tremendously impactful to the bottom line. Indeed. Yeah. Do those smaller models or can those smaller models work for the next phase of generative AI. Uh, we were speaking to a guest yesterday who was talking about robotics. It, it does the application work there? And then, of course, on an even larger sovereign national scale, Jensen Huang was talking about sovereign data and sovereign AI. Do the smaller models work in that context? I think the context is very similar on those. At a nation state level, it might be language or your, your populace needs with it. And your ability to take a model and influence it and put your fingerprint on it is as critical for nation states as it is for enterprises. So we really believe that um, not one omniscient model, but the ability to have smaller specialized models that you can train and run efficiently, that's I think where we'll um, tap into a lot of value.